Welcome to the world of precision instrumentation. This video details the flexible use of the Acura Electro pipette family. Before using the Acura Electro for the first time, please read the instructions carefully. Special attention must be paid to safety precautions and the application limits. This information is also available as a PDF document on a CD that is supplied with the instrument. The energy source is a rechargeable nickel metal hydride battery. The charging level is indicated on the display. A fully charged battery enables over 3,000 pipetting cycles. Full charging takes about 90 minutes. The battery can be charged while on the pipette or separately on the charging stand. A charged battery is inserted very quickly and easily. Immediately after, the instrument will perform a quick function check. There are a few buttons to activate for use of the instrument. A large back position tip ejector button, a start button, a speed selector with three positions, a menu key for accessing pipetting modes and other program loops, a set key to confirm a selection or as an emergency stop, and selection keys to change parameters such as volume or number of doses. The display can be changed to accommodate right or left side reading. To change the sides, press mode for two seconds and select side. Confirm by pressing set and use the plus minus keys to change. Press set again to confirm your choice and press mode for two seconds to return to the pipe heading menu. One control unit offers a choice of 27 volumetric assemblies, all available separately. This greatly extends working possibilities and makes electronic pipetting affordable for all budgets. Changing the volumetric assembly can be easily completed by the user at any time. Disassembling and reassembling without any tools contributes towards maximum flexibility. Press the ejector button and remove the ejector. Unscrew the barrel. Unclip the plunger. Reassemble the elements and keep them in a safe place. Take a new volumetric module. Take the plunger of the new volumetric module and clip it into the instrument. Screw the barrel. Press the ejector button. Insert the ejector with the protruding square on the side and click it in. Modify the volume setting according to the new volumetric module. And press set to confirm. Indication of the volumetric module is visible on the display. If a change is necessary, proceed as follows. Press mode for two seconds and select module. Confirm by pressing set. Use the plus minus keys to get the correct volumetric module indication. Press set to confirm your choice and press mode for two seconds to return to the pipetting menu. Changing a single-channel pipette to a multi-channel pipette is also possible. Press the ejector button and remove the ejector. Unscrew the barrel and unclip the plunger. Reassemble the elements and keep them in a safe place. Pull out the plunger from the multi-channel volumetric module. Insert paper clip. Insert the rod into the hole and click it into the control unit. Remove the paper clip. Insert the ejector ring with the protruding square on the side and click it in. Pull down and screw in the multi-channel volumetric module. Then screw the ejector ring. 
Modify the volume and the channel setting according to the new volumetric module. And press set to confirm. Optimal working positions are possible by a 360 degree rotation of the multi-channel volumetric module. A new calibration must be performed before the first use of the new volumetric module. Calibration specificities of extra modules, as set by factory QC or by the pipette owner, are retained in the instrument memory. The shaft height adjustment system, called Just Tip, controlled by efficient click stops, allows a wide selection of tips to tightly fit the nozzle. Simply turn the ejector until it comes about one half millimeter from the tip edge. Tip ejection is easier than ever. Maximal efficiency is obtained with a large surface ejector button ergonomically located in the back. The beep sound on the keys can be turned on or off at any time. Press mode for two seconds and press mode again until beep shows. Confirm by pressing set. Use the plus minus keys to change on or off. Press set to confirm your choice. Press mode again for two seconds to return to the pipetting menu. Located on the front side, the speed selector allows for swift changes even while pipetting. In addition, slow speed is accessible at any time by a gentle touch of the start button. Microprocessor controlled instruments feature intuitive software avoiding any complicated programming steps. No particular skills are required to get quick access to six working modes and there are many volumes to select from. Scroll through mode selection by pressing a single button. Forward mode corresponds to aspiration and pipetting of a set volume. It's suitable for all applications in the lab. Press mode until the display shows forward. Press set to validate. Press the plus minus keys to display the desired volume. Press set to validate. The display shows the selected mode and volume. The instrument is ready to aspirate in forward pipetting mode. Aspirate the liquid, and the display shows that it's ready to distribute. After distribution and overshoot, the display shows it's ready to aspirate again. Reverse mode corresponds to an aspiration in excess, followed by the dosing of a set volume. It also enhances reproducibility below 20 microliters and is especially recommended for viscous and foaming liquids. Press mode several times until the display shows reverse. Press set to validate. Press the plus minus keys to display the desired volume. Press set again to validate. The display shows the selected mode and volume. The instrument is ready to aspirate in reverse pipetting mode. Aspirate the liquid and the display shows it's ready to distribute. After distribution, the display shows Purge. To eliminate the excess liquid, double-click on the Start button. The display shows it's ready to aspirate again. Stepper mode enables tip filling and step-by-step -step distribution. It's best suited to aliquot samples. Press mode several times until the display shows Step. Press Set to validate. Press the plus-minus keys to display the desired volume for the dosing steps. Press set to validate. Press the plus minus keys to display the desired number of steps. Press set to validate. The display shows the selected mode, volume, and number of distributions. The instrument is ready to work in stepper mode. Aspirate the liquid, and the display shows it's ready to distribute. Each action on the start button distributes one aliquot. After the last dispensing, the display shows Purge. To eliminate the residual liquid, double-click on the Start button. The display shows it's ready to aspirate again. Dilution mode is intended for aspiration of two or three different liquids for restitution in one shot. This is an easy way to dilute samples. Press mode several times until the display shows Dilute. Press Set to validate. Press the plus-minus keys to display the desired volume for the first liquid. Press set to validate. Press the plus minus keys to display the desired volume for the second liquid. Press set to validate. Should there be a third volume, proceed the same way. Otherwise, just press set and the display shows the selected mode and the first volume to be aspirated. The instrument is ready to work in dilution mode. 
Each liquid is separated by an air bubble in the tip. All liquids are distributed in one shot. Aspirate Volume 1. The display shows air, indicating an air bubble is to be aspirated. Remove the tip from the liquid and press the start button. Aspirate Volume 2. The display shows air only if a third volume was selected. Otherwise, the display shows it's ready to distribute the two volumes. Press the start button and the display shows it's ready to aspirate volume one again. Mixing creates a vortex by an up and down liquid flow in the tip or vial. It's activated by a simple touch of the key when pipetting is completed. Releasing the mix key stops the mixing action. Tactile mode enables a precise monitoring of the plunger movement by a simple touch of the start button. It is extremely efficient for titration and gel loading. Press mode several times until the display shows tactile. Press set to validate. Press the plus minus keys to display the maximum aspirated volume. Press set to validate. The display shows the selected mode and volume. Case one, monitoring of aspiration. Take the new tip and introduce it into the liquid. Very gently press the start button until the first stop and let the liquid be aspirated very slowly. The display shows the aspirated volume. Any release of the start button will stop the aspiration process. When aspiration is completed, press mode to enable distribution of the liquid. Case two, monitoring of distribution. Take the new tip and introduce it into the liquid. Press the start button in full and aspirate the liquid in one shot. Position the instrument to where the liquid must be distributed. Then, press the start button very gently until the first stop and let the liquid slowly distribute. The display shows the remaining liquid in the tip. Any release of the start button stops the distribution process. Use of a glass Pasteur pipette may represent an advantage when transferring polypropylene reacting solvents or when a long thin tip size is required. A suitable adapter is available as an accessory to be used with the 2 milliliter model. Another adapter is required for the 5 milliliter model. Any pipetting mode can then be selected. Set the volume to maximum 2 milliliters. Introduce the Pasteur pipette into the adapter and start working as with a normal tip. The cycle counter shows the number of aliquots in a sequence or displays a reminder for maintenance and or calibration. Each cycle includes a full aspiration and distribution. A simple double click on the plus key gives access to the number of pipetting cycles performed since last zeroing. The Acura Electro requires little maintenance. To obtain long-term, trouble-free use, pay special attention during pipetting and perform regular cleaning. External parts of the control unit, power handle, and charging stands are cleaned with a dampened cloth. Volumetric modules, once disassembled, can be cleaned or soaked in appropriate decontamination or disinfecting solutions. Ultrasonic baths help to remove sticking residues. Any defective part must be replaced. Refer to the operating instructions for further details. Order original spare parts from authorized dealers. Only the volumetric module is autoclavable at 120 degrees Celsius, 250 degrees Fahrenheit, and it must be disassembled from the control unit. The nozzle filter on macro models must be removed. Autoclave a volumetric module as one assembly. Parts must be cooled down and completely dry before mounting on a control unit. Introduce a new nozzle filter on macro models. Check for tightness and accuracy after the first cycle, then regularly, but at least after 50 autoclaving cycles. Each Acura Electro Pipette is factory tested for conformity, according to ISO 8655 standards. To proceed, finish the pipetting sequence. Select the desired pipetting mode, perform 10 measurements on an analytical balance, and compare results with the recommended performance from the supplier or internal procedures. Determine the need for the new calibration and the number of calibration units to add or retrieve. Instrument software gives immediate access to the calibration menu. The new settings are entered directly into the keyboard. 
To access the calibration menu, first press the plus button, then press simultaneously mode. Select the calibration point, always starting with a small volume. In the calibration menu, QC Cal is the original calibration value for a factory calibrated instrument. Other volumetric modules purchased as accessories will display zero as the target calibration value. Calibration is performed by increasing or decreasing the calibration increments according to the values given in the operating instructions. To the calibration value indicated on the display, add or retrieve the number of calibration units. Repeat the operation with a nominal volume. When the calibration is completed, press the mode key to return to the pipe heading modes. The initial package is recommended when purchasing an Acura Electro for the first time. Each initial package contains charging stand, an electronic pipette with a battery pack, operating instructions as a booklet and a CD, a QC certificate, power supply, an additional battery pack, and Qualitips pipette tip samples. Thereafter, additional pipettes can be purchased alone and charged on an existing stand. The following accessories are available separately. A pipette charging stand, a compact battery charging rack, a spare battery, a power supply, and volumetric modules. Additional information on the Acura Electro pipette is available on our SoCorex webpage and in our sales literature and operating instructions.